these are the 26 players that have to play at Euro 2024 for England. They have to get on the flight to Germany and lift the European Cup in Berlin. That is what dreams are made of. This list is 100% spot on. And if Gareth Southgate, you're watching, you're in the hotel room, you're scratching your head, don't understand how to play good football against Ukraine, then watch this video, bud, and take all these players. It's 100% spot on. Let me know what you think in the comments down below as I run through all the players. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We'd really appreciate that. The goalkeeping situation is relative, relatively straightforward. Of course, jo uh, Jordan Pickford. Uh, for me, number two is Nick Pope. He's got a little bit more tournament experience than Ramsdale. Obviously, he was part of Southgate's squad even in 2018 when he was really young at Burnley. Um, and I think he's a better keeper than Ramsdale. It's as simple as that. In a big game situation, who do you want coming on to not make a mistake, to, to save penalties? It's all well and good, the kind of distribution of Ramsdale, slightly better than Nick Pope. But you, you're not going to be distributing out from the back much in a tournament, especially if you come on for an injured Pickford in the quarters or the semis, for example. And he's a better penalty uh, shot stopper, in my opinion. And then Ramsdale, third choice, uh, which will sting a lot of Arsenal fans. That is just the reality. Maybe Trafford gets in ahead of him. Uh, if you want to give a, uh, someone from youth who's done well at England at under-21 level a bit of experience, because that third choice keeper is obviously not really playing. So that's that's my three. Rams obviously gets in, but it's probably a lot closer than you think to tra uh, James Trafford. Uh, the kind of four options at right fullback slash right centre-back if we play a back five. Obviously, Carl Walker, the best right back in the world, in my opinion. And people putting in Reese James ahead of him and, and, and Trent, absolutely embarrassing. Uh, but Carl Walker has to be starting all the games in, in Euro 2024. It's probably his final tournament. Uh, Kieran Trippier, obviously right in behind him. I think you can play both of them in a back five if we got a monster draw in the knockout stage of the tournament. Um, obviously, Trips can play left back as well in a back four, in a back five. So great for versatility, great with dead balls. And he's been a really fantastic servant for England. No question about it. Uh, Reese James gets in, of course. I think there's a world he doesn't play much, um, uh, which is obviously a big issue uh, uh, because of his injuries. Um, but look, powerful right back. I think he's that first choice to replace Carl Walker in a back four. The Trippier and Carl Walker situation is pretty locked on for a back five, uh, but Reese James has to get in the squad. It's as simple as that. He's probably the second best right back in world football. Um, that, that is just the reality. Then you have to throw in uh, Trent, of course. I think you could play him in the midfield against maybe lesser opposition in the group if you really wanted to experiment. Of course, he's a big game player for, for Liverpool in the Champions League, but I don't see a world he's starting many games for England. That's just down to the quality of players ahead of him. Uh, the centre-back options slash maybe right back. Ben White gets in for me. You have to make peace with who he is and maybe he's not a big fan of England or he's, you know, some players don't like playing for their country or, or have had little bust-ups. Gareth Southgate has to use the, the most amount of quality at his disposal. That's his role as England manager. He's got to put an olive branch out there for Ben White to accept. Get him back in the squad um, and he's one of the best ball-playing defenders in, in European football. That's the reality. Have to get him in. Does he start? I don't know. I think maybe there's a world where you play a back five with Stones, Ben White, uh, Harry Maguire. That's a really good back line. That is the reality. Uh, a back four with Ben White and John Stones isn't too bad either with Carl Walker and Luke Shaw either side. Um, John Stones obviously is the best centre-back England have had since Rio Ferdinand, John Terry. That's the reality. Harry Maguire has to be on the squad. Uh, his experience at this level is fantastic. Uh, the way he carries himself in international tournaments has been has been nothing short of uh, superb. Got into the team of the tournament, obviously, in the last Euros. Uh, and you, I just don't think you can put Mark Gahey ahead of him. Uh, Mark Gahey gets in the squad for me. Um, and so does Lewis Dunk, who's been absolutely incredible and a massive servant to Brighton. They could be in the Champions League by... The, you know, they could be a Champions League club by the time that um, uh, the Euros rock around. He's a great ball-playing centre-back. He's really tall as well. Um, I really like that for the kind of physical nature of tournament football. The left backs are the easiest in the, in the whole squad. Luke Shaw starts for me uh, in all of the games unless he's injured. And then Chilwell can come in as well. Uh, in midfield, it's, it's difficult. I think there's a real lack of defensive midfielders that can back up Declan Rice. Obviously, on his day, Calvin Phillips can do that. He's proven that at the highest level of international football, getting us to the Euro final. He's player of the year for, uh, for England that year. He's not playing enough football, and I think he'll be he'll be desperate for a move. I could see him at Aston Villa and Everton, um, that those kind of mid mid level Premier League clubs on loan in January to get into this England squad. But he has to go because there's no one else. Uh, Jordan Henderson is behind him in my opinion because he's got less legs than Calvin Phillips. 
He's playing in Saudi Arabia. You know, what world are we living in? But he, do, he does have to go because there's just no one else, unfortunately. Uh, obviously, Declan Rice is the starter. So he, he obviously gets on the plane easy. And, and the stature and the kind of the quality of player that he has become is, is incredible uh, at Arsenal. He could be doing some seriously big bits for Arsenal at the back end of April. Um, and he'll be, you know, a massive part of the England midfield. He's never let England down. Phil Foden's got a massive tournament. Uh, people compared him to Gascoigne in Euro 2021. I've made a similar comparison for James Madison in this, this Euros. I think this tournament's crying out for a, an individual moment of brilliance. I think I think defence is nice to play against Harry Kane. That is obviously impossible to mark at points when a ball comes across and he hits it. It's probably going into the back of the net. I think you need a maverick just before him. I think you need someone feeding balls into him, feeding balls out to the winger. I don't want that to be Harry Kane. I want him to stay up high. There's no point in him spraying balls out to Ben Chilwell. There's just absolutely no point. I just don't see it. Maybe I'm antiquated in my views. I don't know. Um, but I, I think absolutely Harry Kane down the middle with James Madison or Phil Foden in the system behind. Obviously, Bellingham as well is a massive uh, factor. You know, there's Foden, Madison, Bellingham, Kane, Rice, Stones, a spine that is operating at the, the highest echelons of world football. Um, and uh, Bellingham's playing for Real Madrid, getting man of the match awards. Obviously, he gets on in the squad. I did a video uh, a couple of days ago sort of saying my 11, but of course, Bellingham starts in every single 11 for England. If he doesn't, what world is, is this guy living in, Gareth Southgate? Uh... James Madison talks about him briefly. Of course, he has to get on the squad. It says a lot about his career in the last 12 months where, despite getting relegated, he's had such a, a special time at Spurs already. It's early in the season, I know. But I think as a world, he actually starts the first game of the Euros because of how good he's been so far. Um, and I think he's displaced someone like Mason Mount who doesn't get anywhere near my squad for me. Uh, he's nowhere near good enough, Mason Mount. Uh, and there's just not enough spaces. I'm, I'm doing 26 based on the uh, Qatar World Cup squads. Obviously, made a little bit bigger because of... The heat, but we'll just keep it 26 for now. The front line, Saka, obviously starts every game for England. That's pretty easy. Uh, Harry Kane down the middle uh, will be a starter. Obviously, Jack Grealish as well. You know, a treble winning player. He's a player that goes under the radar. As, you know, if you're, the, if you're the Germans, the Spanish, the Italians, whoever it is you're facing, the French. Grealish has been incredible for City. Foden, Stones. Uh, Rice, as I said, Bellingham. You know, Trent could be coming off an incredible season for, for, for Liverpool. There's so many players on incredible form going into this Euros um, that could be... You know, Grealish is starting Champions League finals and setting up big, big goals throughout that campaign. So, you know, he's another player that England have to look at and, and how can we get the most out of him? I don't think we are. Um, he was fantastic in the last Euros as well. Um, Grealish gets in. Of course, you have to put Sterling in. Just for his, his individual moments, I don't think he starts, but I think you've got to play him when you're 1-0 down. It's 0-0. You need a win. Uh, obviously, Sterling, with his experience, he's won so many league titles. Um, played at the highest level of European football. He has to be given loyalty by Gareth Southgate. Um, Marcus Rashford, of course. I think he's first sub for me behind Grealish. There's a world he unlocks defences from some of the lesser sides in our group. No question about it. Callum Wilson makes up my second striker choice. If anything was to happen to Harry Kane, God forbid. I know Tammy Abraham's doing fantastic well at Roma. But Callum Wilson, when he's fit, he's a one in 2 Premier League striker playing for a Champions League club. Um, it's as good as we're going to get. And he's already you know, got a little bit more experience than, than Tammy at tournament football based on the World Cup. And then just a few omissions. No Conor Gallagher. I don't think you need him. Um, if you're really throwing in Conor Gallagher, you're... You, you, you're saying that we're far less talented than we actually are, in my opinion. I think he's a he's a runner and he's a runner. He's an athlete. Uh, he's not a talented footballer. I just don't see it. Eze, I don't think he's got the experience yet. It's a bit too early for him. James Ward-Prowse, I just don't see how he plays football. I think I'd rather have someone like, you know, throw in an extra defender in Trent that can play in a back five. You're not going to play James Ward-Prowse instead of Declan Rice, instead of um, anyone else and you you know I, I just don't see it I just don't see it with James Ward Prowse no Mason Mounds I said and no Jared Bowen I think Jared Bowen's really unlucky I think he's going to end the season really well for West Ham he's already started in, in blistering form but I just don't think he's played well enough for England when he has get, got given opportunities obviously last year I think it was just not enough for me I don't think he's going to start anywhere near Saka you know Rashford Sterling Grealish he's just nowhere near even Phil Foden can play there so that's my squad for the Euros 
I, I'm pretty pessimistic about the whole thing. Maybe I'm, I'm a classic England fan, but I just don't see us doing much. Uh, and that's because of the manager. I did a video about that yesterday. Uh, so you can check that out. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We really appreciate it. I'll see you very, very soon.